15,000 students have been left in limbo after one of Australia's largest vocational education providers went into administration. Classes at Careers Australia were cancelled overnight and around 1,000 staff have been stood down without pay. The provider had been denied support under a government overhaul of the sector. It was by text message last night. These students were told classes were cancelled and their worlds turned upside down. <laughs> no classes, no workplace, effective immediately. Do not reply. It's all ceased and that there's nothing left. Like, I'm disgusted. There's international students. They'll be sent home because they're not enrolled in this course anymore. I've got no, I'm just speechless. I've got nothing to say. I've just, I'm just so disappointed. The company has been controversial. The ABC revealed they were targeting poor communities using so-called free laptops. That's since been banned. Careers Australia ran afoul of what, what the standards were expected of in the industry, but they were working hard to fix it. Uh, I guess government's made a decision. Last month, the federal government denied Careers Australia access to its new vocational education scheme because of its poor track record in completion rates and recruitment processes. The government today defended that decision. Our new program only lets in the highest quality training providers to give training services and student loans in the future. That's as it should be. But some employers will lose out. Many skilled graduates have been snapped up and businesses are now looking to help those caught in the middle. We may have to assess each apprentice one by one to find out where they're up to, how much funding's already been claimed, and in some cases apply for new funding. Some students will be found new courses as part of a TAFE-backed scheme, but not all. We do understand that it could be quite complex as we try to sort out which area of government needs to uh, look after them. Students today received this document. It warns them they must still pay for classes that are complete and that they will not be entitled to a full refund for any incomplete courses. Courses they paid thousands of dollars for. It's understood some students may have already found new places, but for others, plans for their future have been ruined. Richard Martin, ABC News.